using acrylics here on the 11 by 14 inch piece of masonite primed with gesso. I most often tone my board with the burnt sienna color, but in this case, I'm just leaving the board white and starting with the sky and then placing in a bit of the foreground with very dark colors. I'm sort of dividing the uh, composition into thirds here, the lower third being the horizon line and the palm trees make up the uh, vertical third of the painting. And after getting those large shapes placed in, I start to refine those larger shapes with some detail, starting with this uh, marshland here, which makes an S-curve leading the eye towards the background. The palm trees, they look a little bit lonely in here, so I'm adding some other foliage here amongst those palm trees. I'm just trying to build this composition up a little at a time. And since this is an early morning setting, I'm keeping most of this foliage basically in silhouette. And I'll finish this piece by adding a few great egrets. Although these birds are white, I don't start out with any white paint on them. I start out with sort of a grayish blue color. And although it's not always a good idea to add what might be called the center of interest in two different locations, for instance, this one bird on the right and two on the left, in this case, it seems to work. It gives it some sense of balance. I reserve a touch of white just for those accents on the bird, just giving a little bit of highlight on the bird and then putting some reflections in the water. So that's just a quick look at this painting process, but for full length instructional videos, visit paintingandtravel.com and be sure to watch our PBS television series, Painting and Travel with Roger and Sarah Bansmer on your local PBS television station. Thank you.